ขอบคุณค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ and good afternoon this is the English language summary of the press briefing by the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration or CSA for Wednesday the 17th of November 2021 let me begin today by sharing once again some updates and statistics regarding the Thailand Pass system and our efforts to continue to facilitate the application process for entry into Thailand. Again, we thank all of you for the constructive comments and feedback on how the system can be improved. And today, let me also thank many of you who have sent us words of encouragement and confirmed indeed that those improvements are working very well for you. So I am referring here to what I mentioned on Monday, uh, which are namely the function to log in, to check on the status of applications yourself, and the function to download the Thailand Pass QR code directly from the system without having to wait for a confirmation email. Another improvement to the system that I'd like to share today is that we've added a drop-down box of hotels approved for your first night stay in the country just to make sure that we are booking at the right places. Uh, let me also remind travelers as well that for your booking of the one night stay, please ensure that the hotel reservation also includes transportation to the hotel as well as the post arrival RT PCR test, which will take place at the hotel. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs again, as was mentioned on Monday, is also continuing to coordinate with other countries to request their public key infrastructure to enable a more automated approval of the digital vaccine certificates. As was mentioned, we have the PKI from 30 countries, and you can see that list on the screen now so that you know which countries you are likely to get a very quick approval from. There are currently additional ones that the DGA, the Digital Government Agency, is checking on and testing for compatibility before adding them to this list. So if you are traveling from these countries on the PKI list, as shown on the slide here, chances are that your application, provided that you've followed all the steps in the Thailand Pass and uploaded the necessary documents, will be approved very quickly by the system. And this is what we refer to as the automated or auto approvals in the upcoming slide. Again, for those that cannot take advantage of this system, the number of officials from the Ministry of Public Health tasked to manually verify vaccine certificates have been increased, and this will help and has helped to speed up our consideration. As of 9 a.m. this morning, we have logged a total of 214,251 applicants through the Thailand Pass system. And you see those numbers on the slide in front of you. Of that number, of that total number, a total of 167,415 applications have been improved, approved, excuse me, of which 86,719 were auto approved. During the period from the 1st of November to the 16th of November, 58,870 travelers entered Thailand. Of this number, the majority, or 43,220 travelers, entered via the test and go scheme or the quarantine exemption scheme with 13,045 entering through the sandbox scheme and another 2,605 who entered through the quarantine scheme. International travelers are originating from the following top 10 countries, namely the US, Germany, the UK, Japan, Russia, France, South Korea, Switzerland, Israel and Sweden. Out of the total number of travelers, only 74 have tested positive for COVID-19. This represents approximately 0.13% of the total, which means that the requirements we've put in place for the reopening 
are working properly, are working well in screening out COVID-19 patients from the majority of incoming travelers who are COVID-19 free. Again, for those who are still awaiting their approval or may have further inquiries on the Thailand Pass system, please go ahead and contact us at the call center or through the numbers that you see on the screen in front of you now. There are 30 lines for that call number and we have three mobile numbers that are operational 24 hours. Of course, you can also send us a quick email in case uh, there are more specific questions you would like us to address. Let me now turn to the progress we have in our vaccination drive with a table up on the screen for you. In the Thai briefing just now, there was a detailed analysis of these numbers and a couple of points were mentioned which perhaps is useful to mention in the English language briefing is that with the numbers of vaccinations in, the, in specific groups, there are some groups which are still lagging behind. In particular um, is the group of pregnant women. Of course, please be reminded pregnant women are eligible to receive the vaccine after 12 weeks um, and not before then. These numbers are still relatively low. As far as other groups are concerned, there is there was an emphasis placed on those with chronic illnesses um, to please go ahead and ensure that your vaccination is complete, particularly those with diabetes, for instance. We celebrated or rather commemorated World Diabetes Day very recently on the 14th of November and this was, this was raised in the Thai briefing just now. For a general summary then, Yesterday, we administered a total number of 659,381 doses of the vaccine, which increases the accumulated number to over 86 million doses. Up here is a slide for you where you can follow as I sum up additional numbers for you. So more than 63% of Thailand's population have now received their first dose of the vaccine, of the COVID-19 vaccine. And more than 52% or over 37.5 million people have now received their second dose. For the targeted 4.5 million student aged 12 to 17 years old, more than 2.9 million or 65% have received their first dose and more than 2 million or 46.6% have received their second dose. Before we take a look at the general situation in the country, let's have a quick look at the overall global situation. And as you can see from the slide you have in front of you, globally, overall, we are on a downward trend including if you look at the figures from our neighboring countries. There are, however, some spikes, as was mentioned just now in the Thai briefing, in numbers in some countries in Europe, uh, both countries with a high number of vaccination and lower numbers of vaccination, um, only to underline for us here that the importance of universal prevention in our fight against COVID is still very relevant. For Thailand, the situation is becoming more and more stable with a number of provinces that are under close monitoring by the line agencies. This includes Patani, Nakhon Si, Thamrat, Chiang Mai, Trang, Patalung, Pisanulok, as well as Bangkok. As far as infections and new confirmed cases are concerned for today, that number is 6,524. Again, the majority are those in the chronic illness category and some from penitentiaries. The accumulated number of cases, therefore, it's brought to 2 million and a little over 37,000. Of these, active cases amount to a little over 91,000, of which 407 are in critical condition and on ventilators. New recoveries, again, 
happy to report that they are outpacing the number of confirmed cases and new recoveries stand at 7,191 cases. New fatalities for today, unfortunately, we are recording at 56 cases. Before I conclude, let me reiterate once again, as our children are heading back to school, the need to comply with and to maintain all health and safety measures is, is clear. I am sure that many parents have been very eager to end online instruction and to have the kids back to school on site. Our children are also eager to meet up with their friends and we can continue to help each other get there safely. For instance, and as required by the Ministry of Public Health, your children will be reg required excuse me, to regularly undergo ATK testing, so it's important to use those that are approved by the Thai FDA. We have provided on screen the QR code that links to this list. That's all I have for today, and as the holidays approach, please stay vigilant, take care, stay safe, and have a good week ahead. Thank you. Ha, so, ha. ขอบพระคุณนะครับ